I was going to talk about kind of the feeling, the personal feeling, um, the inspiration uh, for writing a long poem, and then what that has to do with form as you're revising. And in particular, I want to speak um, in favor of um, the ordinary paragraph. <laughs> and I know in, uh, in poetry, you know, the, the paragraph is sort of looked down on, I think. Uh, but I think that really, um, in terms of choosing why, in revision, why you're using a certain form, a paragraph has as much, um, makes as much sense in the right case uh, as any other form, a villanelle or a sonnet. And in the long poem, uh, for me, the inspiration is often narrative, uh, telling a story. And the paragraph can be a very natural uh, way to appear to tell a story. Um, and so I was thinking of some of the things said. I'll read a couple um, uh, quotations. Um, Adrienne Rich stopped using formal structures when she became a feminist. I assume form, quote, I assume, assume form to be in its broadest sense the organization, arrangement, or framework of a literary work, and yet those who in general agree that there is a notion to judge one's poetry or idea about what literary form is or should be. The word comes from Middle English, Old French, and originally from the Latin form meaning beauty. The idea is that form imparts beauty to a work of art, but what is the oppressor's idea of beauty to the oppressed? And I think one of the things that happens when I am inspired to write um, a long poem, I, I really feel it, that it's gonna be a long poem. And generally, it's the expression of something in me that wasn't expressed for a long time. And some right moment comes uh, when, when I wrote my second book, Natural Birth. It was about the birth of my son in a home for unwed mothers. And um, he, went, uh, he didn't know this had happened. Nobody knew it was a big secret. And uh, he went away on an outward bound expedition and he was away from me for a month. And I thought, you know, this is a story now that I could tell him. I could tell him about his birth. And it was just the right time. And I had that sense that it was going to be a story. And I knew it had to have sections. It had to have parts. And I could feel that extension. Now, uh, when I, Toni Morrison took, held that book at uh, Random House when she was the editor there for nine months, interestingly. <laughs> and, um, and then I got back a, a wonderful letter from her saying that they couldn't publish it because they didn't know where it would fit. Because some sections looked like a poem and some sections looked like prose. Uh, and and uh, in, in the Black Notebooks, a, a literary memoir is described. At, at one time, the whole book was in the lines of a poem. And uh, the reason why I decided to make it look like prose was because the, um, the intention of the book was kind of to undermine uh, consciousness, to get beneath consciousness. And I think the paragraph, it sort of disarms you. I mean, you pick it up and hey, it looks like a paragraph. It's not a, a work of art. It's not put off in a box, it doesn't have space around it. You're just reading. And uh, I think that a paragraph can, can kind of subvert the idea of form uh, and, and give, put the reader in a very different place, a more natural place. Um, uh, George Safira said, I would look at it from another point of view. The learned poetry only from the poetry that they, they learned poetry only from the poetry they had at their disposal and if prose existed, they considered it anti-poetic to benefit from it, the poetic purposes, I mean. It would be very useful if our poems learned to use prose for poetic purposes. 
Language at its root is a unified thing. I mean here the rhythms of language too, not expecting any good text, not even conversation. Um, the, the, um, the black notebooks, when I got the, um, uh, the galleys back from uh, Norton, uh, I was shocked because the lines of the book, the way they, put, they published it, were not the lines that I sent to them in the text. To them, it was just prose. But every line was there for a reason. It had to do with timing. I mean, that's one of the things that a poet does. Uh, that, you know, we don't think of a prose writer as, as doing that same thing, but controlling the way images and information come to you in time. And um, you sort of enter into that world when you uh, enter, when you follow those lines. And my lines were very intentional, but for them, it, was, it just looked like prose. So in a way, the black notebooks a, as it is, I, ha I would love to go back and look at the original now but it destroyed the sense of time that I, that I, had, uh, that I had wanted to exist. But, uh, so um, I fractured my knee in April and because I couldn't go anywhere and couldn't do anything, not even grocery shop, I was able to sit in my living room and sit among my books, which I've never done in my life, for six weeks. And um, I wrote 250 pages. So, um, so but what, what I realize now that was happening is that the inspiration was this sense of joy and relief and euphoria. And, um, you know, I could, I could tell everybody, no. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not writing that. I'm not going here. And it was just a, a, a euphoric experience and I think what the paragraph did for me uh, again that that sense of, of having the desire to do something long or that feeling that um, that that what you want to do is a lot <laughs> was for me that sense of euphoria that you know um, so for me the paragraph uh, in that way that uh, that it embodied, this sense of, oh God, I'm just opening up into this space and it feels so good, um, was about, uh, about that in the paragraph. Um, so I wanna say that writing that, that kind of form for me is like um, you're holding onto a rope in a fun house and you're just following that rope and you don't know what the hell is out there but you know you have that rope and you're, you're, you're holding on and just going with it. And, um, and that's how the paragraph um, felt, the long lines. It just felt like the lines kept going on and on and on. I wasn't intending to write a paragraph. I was just going with that line. Um, then in revision, I think you can decide what you want to do, and when the when the long line is appropriate, when the when the paragraph uh, gives that sense to the reader that they're immersed in it, that things are piling up on top of each other, images, the material, thoughts, ideas, and and it's messy, you know, they feel like they're in the mess of it. Uh, whereas with with the poem, you know, they're in this very controlled way of moving through information and gives an in very entirely different effect. So I anticipate in my revision that some parts will be looking like a paragraph mm -hmm. and other parts will follow that, that a closer, tighter sense of time. Uh, Allen Ginsberg once said that he's a poet and therefore everything he writes is a poem. So I think we should all have permission to say that about our work.